Okay, so last time we got through the first two stages, we picked up quite a bit of stuff. And we have a scroll reeve, of course. Anyway, let's keep going. This game actually takes quite a bit of concentration to play without making stupid mistakes because you kind of get into the habit of uh, mashing the arrow keys when you have a long distance to go. You could use run, I guess. But uh, I prefer just doing it man manually. Sort, okay, two red potions. This game kind of differs from a lot of other uh, roguelike games in that okay these are probably uncursed in that uh, scrolls of identify actually identify every single item in your inventory making them like making them much more valuable because not only do they identify your items, they also give you a lot of piety with uh, Bellweir, who likes identifying things. So anyway, we're gonna... This is not a safe room. Uh, okay. Rest up. In case there's a scroll of fire, we want at least around 20-30 health. Enchant weapon. Hmm. Okay. I'll take that. Plus one will give me both a bonus to my damage as well as to my chances of actually hitting. So it's good. Plus one to hit, plus one to damage. Or for those of you who've played MUDs before, one hit and dam. So let's read this other thing. Healing, okay. It's a good idea if you have warning to just kind of figure out where you're what you're gonna be fighting before you actually go into the fight. Seems like common sense, but you can kind of you just kind of start ignoring it if you don't pay attention to it. And if you see If you see hard to kill, you can easily avoid the fight. So, holy scroll of teleport. Okay, Shatomi. Shatomis are actually pretty powerful for what they are, which is, you know, a friendly creature. They're probably the most powerful friendly creature you'll meet until Triceratops, but that's quite a ways from where I am now anyway. So I've got 62 health with uh, four levels, which isn't the max. If you follow Klaskov, like uh, if you look at the help file for gods, it says you get plus 15 per level, but what that really means is a uh, a chance of having plus 15, so 15 is the max. You actually have a chance of getting, I believe, a, a 62 plus 3, so a minimum of 9 and a maximum of 15. And you gain 1.5 health levels and 0 spell levels with Klaskov. It's good to know because the kinds of enemies that are generated depend on your level as well as uh, your physical as well as your uh, magical levels, so. Just good to know. Relatively easy room with a wand at the end of it. Ooh, a named potion. So because we haven't identified the wand of uh, create monster, we're gonna stand in the doorway as usual. And we're going to zap diagonally. Wand of digging. Okay. Digging is nice. It allows you to open up uh, the stage. That's a lot of Shitomis. What the heck is this orc quiz do? Well, we'll see.
No, nah, there's that one room that we haven't completely explored, but whatever. Okay, so... You see water, 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 you see water. These are water walking boots. Which means these must, therefore, be fur line boots. It's definitely good to know. Because uh, if you meet ice demons and crap. Another black potion? What the heck are these? One way you can do this is to throw them at the wall. And uh, if they don't... You know what? Whatever. Let's just quaff it. Nothing. Okay, so it might be a cure potion then. If it doesn't do anything. Windshield kill. Windshield kill. Chameleons. Do not eat chameleon corpses because they're going to make you... Dagger. Because they make you uh, polymorph randomly and that sucks. Any item that gods give you... You should name specifically to holy plus three because they are holy and they are plus three. Crush the zombie, one, two hit, and he's dead. So I've got pretty good attack power now. Scroll of read me, as well as a plate mail. Let's read the scroll. There we go, identify. That's great. And... Holy plus one fur lined as expected and water walking as expected. Okay. What does this do? Grants. Oh my god. <laughs> it grants life saved. That is really good. Ba basically, if you're in trouble, just swap this for this. And you now have an extra life. Amazing. Really great find. What else did we not know? Not really much. Mana potions are good because they can charge wands. But evil wands suck because they suck. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get back to the water. Make sure that we're very close to land. What we're, we're going to do is make some potions of wa water with uh, these. We can just drop them. And then you're going to descend into the water, submerge yourself. This is relatively dangerous, which is why you don't want to uh, do it without boots of water walking, because you can step right back up. You can climb by using the regular climb commands that you use to climb stairs and uh, ladders. So, yeah. Fighter. We're going to do fighter all the way. Pointed weapons. Uh, not my piece of cake. Ooh, this guy hits really hard. Let's wait. Okay, Quizar. Quizar? Really? Why does he like me? Oh, wow. Apparently he really likes me. Holy crap. Let's just check for a moment why that would be. Ah, identify items as well. Find secrets. Strike the helpless. <laughs> Probably because I took on that entire room of uh, helpless enemies. Arrows. I would keep for potentially corrosive explosion. Huh. You gave me plus one to that. I see chill, which means I'm no longer cold resistant. It's definitely good to know what a lot of the text means, like... Locked book. Because... Uh, because, uh... It allows you to 
Holy crap, what was I saying? <laughs> oh man, really need to sleep more. Oh crap. Oh, right. It's really good to know what the a lot of like the flavor text means. Like like for example, you know, if I if it's still here. Never mind. They're, they're not here anymore. But when you gain or lose intrinsics, which are basically like uh, stat bonuses, they give you a message to let you know. Okay, we're just gonna let the evil eyes uh, block the way. Water walking. That's good, because now we can kill this and have plus three. Which, as you can see, gives us a lot more armor. The last game I played, I actually had, uh, I believe, 30 armor by level four. By stage four, or dungeon level four. But that was a short-lived experience because I ran into two cockatrices and they killed me. <laughs> More because I was dumb, but you know. Okay, I'm trying to look at him. Poor shape. I don't want to use the ice wand because the ice wand could, uh, it would freeze the water. But I don't have anything to throw at him either. I guess I could throw a potion of blindness. <laughs> you know what? Let's throw boots at him. I actually hit him. <laughs> Charge at him. Near death. Let's just bash him to death and hope we don't die. Okay, we're good to go. That's why you want a lot of health early, because uh, it allows you to do stuff like this. You know, ignore the fact that things are hurting you with poison. Poison resistance comes... Oh my god. Relatively late in the game, because... Ah, uh, oh, he cursed it. Oh well, not a big deal. Because, 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 because you get them as an amulet, and these amulets generally are rare to for you to find. So, gonna kill this. Keep moving. Bottle of water. Sort. Ooh. Yes, now we have three holy waters, which is good because now we can forever make holy water. We're going to select this and we're going to split it up just so that we don't actually, if we just sort it, it's going to put it back. So, huh. Okay, whatever. These freaking frogs are really dangerous. <laughs> they have a lot of attack power. So we're going to do the usual, run into a closed room, sleep until we are good to go again. I was full, so I was regenerating one health a turn. Windshield, windshield, okay. Oh, Kiwi nearly killed me. Yellow potion. We do have acid, so hopefully Greek fire. Damn it. Anyway, rest up. Rest up some more. That's good enough. Okay, I'm only physical level 6, but then again, it's only level 5, so we're not at the more dangerous parts yet. Ooh, a ghast. Hmm. 
we're gonna just to be on the safe side do this so we get a normal wand of ice and then dip this in mana potion to regenerate some of the charges on it we're gonna wait for this to align itself and then we're gonna zap the ice wand so oh god sleep rays <laughs> he's making us both go to sleep. <laughs> this is silly this is really silly. And he's actually sleeping for longer than I am. Okay. I don't think I was actually damaging him. Was I? You miss. You snore. You wake up. You fall asleep. Ghasts are such silly things. Spears, these can be thrown. As you know, it would make sense. We do have an acid potion, so let's try out these boots, because we want speed boots ideally. There there we go, speed boots. They are less defense Ooh staff. Equip. This is a healing thingy. Wand of healing. Which is not useful. Ideally we want a corrosive explosion. Which is the a really powerful spell. That can be used to kill the final boss in uh, or Bale's Bub in very few hits. Oh and I realize I haven't been speaking too much this uh, video, but to be honest, till we get to slightly deeper levels of the dungeon, it's kind of monotonous, so be right back.